What's up YouTube, it's Sahabies here and in today's video we'll be taking a look at the Wildstick wow 1F Plus. This is a precision electric screwdriver that has uh, 69 different drill bits and the seller that I that I bought this from actually gave me a free uh, the Wow Case Mini which is, uh, you can just open this up real quick. This is actually a drill bit uh, holder. It's just a really tiny one which you can use for travel. Now the case itself, uh, we can take a look at, we can set this aside, we take a look at the box, it's wrapped up really nicely. Now this product has been making its way around the internet, it's one of the budget uh, screwdrivers that you can use for your, your computers or your phone, and it, it costs around for about uh, 30 to 40 US dollars, and I paid around like 40 dollars for mine. And you can see here, the, I was really surprised with the quality, you know, for a cheap, uh, well it is a pretty expensive screwdriver, but uh, first looks here, they wrapped it up like an uh, Apple product, like uh, or actually most uh, sealed luxury products. And this was really a surprise for our Chinese uh, for our Chinese product. It's one of the best ones that I had so far. So you can see here, it's a lithium uh, precision screwdriver, which refers to the battery. It's a uh, it says lithium. Not sure whether it's lithium polymer or lithium uh, lithium ion. And it's obviously a Chinese product, but it looks like a better quality one, like. Uh, instead of those knockoffs. So that's a good sign. Now let's get right into opening it. Okay, so you can see here I got a smaller uh, Zacto knife kind of blade to open up my stuff. Box here got a little bit damaged through shipping, but uh, no big deal as long as the screwdriver is safe. And here, so the unboxing of this, you can see what you get. It has this sleeve. And this, and right off we see I'm a screw pack. So I guess it takes its design a lot like Apple. You can, wow, the unboxing experience is really amazing. Like, uh, I won't say it's perfect in terms of the uh, this uh, designs, but it does show half of it, uh, and it does look really good in itself. So nothing too bad about it. Even the packaging here, it doesn't. It, it doesn't feel as uh, high quality as an Apple product, but hey, we're, we're not comparing to Apple. I'm just comparing. Um, well, it's kind of like an oxymoron. We shouldn't be comparing to Apple, but the packaging reminds me so much of the iPhone that uh, I'm sort of unconsciously comparing it to it. So the paper itself has that matte uh, kind of feeling, and but it doesn't feel like as high quality, but then again, yeah, it, there's no need for it. And this comes in sleeved, uh, okay, obviously this kind of fell out, it was supposed to be sleeved, uh, but again, no big deal, this is a screw pad, I assume it's magnetic, uh, we can test it out later, and we can just set this aside. Now, you can see here, uh, it says, I'm a case, this is the screwdriver case, then we have the dual power screwdriver, the bits with X1, and the base, and the toolbox. So, let's just take a look. Oh, wow. So, you have the screwdriver and you have three sets of drill bits in these tubes. Let's just get all of the items out of the box first. And set these aside. So you have a base, this is pretty heavy. Now the whole set itself is heavy, actually. So, it does feel like it's good quality. So let's just start with the toolbox here. Wonder what that is. Okay. So we can see this has a little bottle filled with screws. Um, let's just uh, get that out here. So you can see there's a variety of Phillips head screws. Um, we could take a look. They're all mini black. Uh -huh. Not sure what you really use this for, I guess, phone accessories. And just testing this uh, this screw pad. Yep, it is magnetic. Let's see here. So it's not a super duper strong magnet, but it is sufficient for its use. So you can so you won't lose any of your drill bits or, or your screws while you're doing your work. Now what I like uh, so far about this set, it seems like it's uh, I bought it because it was 
Uh, it's a complete set for forty dollars. It's electric screwdriver and you can use it manually as well. No, no biggie. And it comes with all the different drill bits. So then we have this. This is a, I guess it's a demagnetizer, so it can help. Uh, get this in the focus. Yep, yep. It's a demagnetizer. So this will be helpful. Um, See, we can open this up. I guess can we? Uh, it's a little bit difficult to open up, but nah. Uh, okay, let's just set that aside. Then we have this. Uh, it's a USB charger. It's a. I guess it's a micro USB. It doesn't look like a Type C type of charger for the screwdriver itself. Uh, we got a couple more things. Oh, we have the sort of like guitar pick for for the accessories, and we have like a plunger or a suction cup. Yeah, that's also where I was looking for. Now let's take a look at the base. We get to the screwdriver and screw base last, because uh, we can take a look at these accessories first. So this is a screwdriver base. Uh, it's simply a piece of metal. I don't see any uh, any charging port here, so it's simply just a base to hold the screwdriver up. Let's set that aside. Now let's open up the case. Okay, so it even comes with silica gel in here, so they wanted to keep the dry case. So I like that uh, little touch, and this is. Oh, it's X magnetic. Uh, not really the best uh, kind. I don't really like. It. I mean, it's magnetic. It's fine when you keep it in a, uh, on your desk, but nah, I would prefer a proper clasp because uh, if you drop it or anything, it falls off the table. It will just crack open. So not really the greatest, and they didn't include a rubber band. But that let's set that aside. Nothing to think about that. Now we have the screwdriver itself, the wow stick, and immediately it works, you can see. So I can feel the spinning, uh, we can see if we can, uh, you can see a little bit of the spinning. And the, the great thing about this is that it even has a light, the LED to show, to shine light on what you're actually doing. And it actually has two sides, I believe, like, uh, Yep, this is bi-directional and you have a single switch and here's the USB uh, port where you can just plug this in. Okay, so let's just place this in a base. Um, so the base is simply weighted and uh, it doesn't really set that terrifically well. It's uh, not magnetic at all. Now let's take a look at the drill bits that we have. A really great screwdriver. Quality feels good. It's an anodized type of aluminium. And this is an accessory. So this plastic tube is actually good quality. It doesn't feel like trash. Uh, that's great. And you can see here it actually lists what the drill bits are. And this is X1. Tells you what exactly is in there. I like this detail. It's important to have. And then this open and it opens up like this. This is really beautiful. Okay, and it comes in this tube, so I assume what, what you're supposed to do is uh, keep the screwdriver the, uh, inside the case and one tube of these X bits. So you see here it fits nicely, this too. Oh, uh, okay, it's not magnetic, but here we go. Almost like a surgical set. So anyway, now I assume here in this uh, this mini case, you can place in the drill bits here, or oops, wrong side, or you can use that as a sorter. Mm, it doesn't exactly say what what it's for, but okay. The the thing about this case is uh, for the drill bit is that they're all uh, silicone or rubber, so it's not exactly magnetic. That's not uh, too great. I mean. It comes in a tube, so it should be fine, but I would prefer if uh, it was a magnetic type of holder. 
and you can see here oh this is magnetic yep it's definitely for the drill bits it's kind of like a mini uh, lithium battery anyway let's just keep this in here so that we can uh, have good reference so I guess uh, this wild case mini is just to put your most important uh, drill bits in there the one that you use the most now let's move on to the next one so let's take a look at x2 and x3 real quick so here we have all the uh, the fancier ones that's used by apple mostly like the stars the t10 t t9 and let's take a quick look at x3 So this is, uh, you have some of the fillip heads and a little bit more different ones. And I like how they labeled it X1, X2, X3. So it's quite a great detail that they ensure that everything is labeled nicely. So you can easily take a look at the box uh, soon, soon like as a reference, like X1, oops, X1, you can see what drill bits they have. And after a while you get used to it. So this is, this is a lot easier for recognition compared to if they didn't have the X1, X2, X3. That's a great detail to have. Now let's try to like test out the screwdriver before we end off this video. Oop. Keep on knocking this over. I hope they didn't dent it. But so I have, I have my MacBook here. So this is a screw, this is a, one of the screws and then we'll try to pull out one of the T9s from here. And we got it out really quick. So we can use our well stick pad to place the screws there. Make sure that your laptop is off before you do it. And get it out real quick. And it does have the magnetic drill bit. So it does, so you can see how it came out so pretty nicely. So yeah. They work out right off the box and you just need to be a little bit careful with uh, the way it moves because uh, since this drill bit actually uh, is activated by the buttons so uh, you need to be a little bit more wary since it's not uh, pressure sensitive so how, how deep you screw in the screws so the moment you feel the twist that should be it so that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this unboxing and this short review of the Wildstick uh, Wildstick One F Plus. It's definitely a great product for the price. Usually, uh, I imagine electric screwdrivers would be a lot more expensive, and they are a little bit more clunky. This is a sleek consumer great device, and yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this Wildstick 1F. Do you uh, give this a give this video a thumbs up if you really like the design? If you think it's cool and everybody should have one of these, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.